And I don't care what anybody has to say. He, he, he had mental issues. L let him go. What's going on, y'all? Ground and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And, man, I wanted to weigh in on a whole recent Mercedes Moore situation, man. And I want to see what you guys think about it as well. And I guess we're just going to be talking about uh, what we think and, uh, you know, different types of weirdos out here that you should be trying to avoid. And uh, I guess the risk and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I guess, you know, we'll dive into this article and see what the hell is going on, man. Go ahead and comment below what you think. So uh, this is by Revolt and it's called Influencers Miss Mercedes Moore Killer Identified. And then it says for the first part this past Sunday, social media influencer and model Miss Mercedes Moore was found dead in her Richmond, Texas home, according to Fort Bend County. Real name Janae Gagnier died of strangulation and traumatic concussion. Also found within her residence was the body of a man later identified as 34 year old Kevin Alexander Acuerto, whose death was confirmed via suicide by multiple sharp force trauma. While a motive is still being investigated, it's presumed that the two did not know each other personally. And, uh, so far, that's that's been debunked because they said that he wrote things around the house like, "Yeah, you use me, ha, ha, you use me," and, and uh, or something like that. I loved you, like you know, super simpy stuff, man. And I think it's I think it's real trash to be out here simping and so, simping so hard that if you can't have her, nobody can. So not only do you go out here in beta male style, take her out, but you you beta male style in your life. And I don't care what anybody has to say. He, he, he had mental issues. L let him go. Shut the hell up, man. This guy doesn't deserve any sympathy. And, and, and a lot of these red pill guys are running around here and they're saying, like, yo, man, you know that? You know, I don't know, you know, you know how red pill guys are, man. They act like uh, OnlyFan people and, and I guess, you know, IG models are like the scum of the earth and stuff. Some of them are trash because they, they think they're so much better than people and they don't really have any real talents. But. That, like nobody deserves to be followed around or took down because of a situation like this. Like you got some simp or something like that. Like yeah, she probably there's probably more to the story. She probably got down, uh, had the guy paying her monies and all this kind of stuff and whatever and whatnot. And he and he spent some points. It's like that one situation y'all saw. You probably know about the. Uh, the girl that worked at the strip club and, and the old white guy was running around here talking about some, yeah, uh, well, she was my girlfriend. I, I gave her a million dollars in in uh in gifts and money and I, I expected more out of her and I'm just so sad and disappointed. Like a dancer who calls herself Nomi. He was becoming a regular and we did become friends. I really like him as a friend and I still do. We had had a dating relationship and uh, on May 3rd, I, we had broken up. Robert Wallace says he loaned the dancer about two grand and he wants it back along with- Bro, what did you think was gonna happen, bro? You're a fat old white guy. Not even a fat old guy. You're like a fat 35 year old white guy with no personality. And you're thinking that she's supposed to be out here coming for you? Stop it, man. That's the same thing with this guy. This guy, this guy should have known he was getting used. He should have known that there was no way that a guy that looks like him, because he's not a good looking guy, was going to come in here and grab a woman like that. You're just essentially sending out free money. You're essentially sending out free money, man. And, and uh, I mean, I guess this is a risk that comes with, with being in the spotlight and everything like that. And being, I guess, uh, she, I know she wasn't the only fan person, but everybody's saying like she was only fans, but... I think she was uh, she was working for like Fashion Nova or something like that, or a clothing company, one of them, and uh, that's why she was having a little bit of clout as far as Instagram goes. But uh, yeah, man, no, nobody really deserves it, man. No matter the profession, man, everybody just be running around here acting like, yeah, man, these girls they they don't have talent, and that's what you get, and that's what you get. So what if somebody tries to decide to come after you, cause you uh, cause you on the on the YouTube spewing garbage. Well, I guess uh, somebody will be like, oh, I've got my Glocky! You know, all, all y'all guys be out here on the Myron Gaines tip and all that. But, uh, yeah, man, it's uh, it's pretty sad what happened to her, man. It's definitely not uh, definitely not the move. You got to avoid those simps, ladies. Uh, sometimes uh, people are, people are going to expect stuff, even if they shouldn't expect stuff. 
So you need to be smart. You can't be out here. You shouldn't be accepting gifts, accepting dinners, because you're leading guys on. You got to be smarter out here and be more considerate of people. And uh, I'm not I'm not sitting up here trying to act like the men are all innocent because they're not all innocent. This guy's not innocent. He, he should have had his, his mind uh, right to the point where he's not out here getting simped out and uh, and going to kill about it. Doesn't make any sense. But now I've got another story though of uh, another situation like this. And let's see what the hell is going on right here, man. And now he's going to get you to the pictures. <laughs> Alright man, so you're probably wondering what happened to this guy and here's what happened man. So this is by uh, the Instagram page ATL Uncensored News and uh, it was a couple days ago man, well four days ago to be exact. It said yesterday a man was walking around Walmart on Gresham Road. He was caught recording a woman and her little girl. They asked him to delete it but he was playing dumb. A friend who was with them recognized the man as the same person that was following her the day before, so they ended up giving the man a beating. Hmm. I like that. Some, uh, some good old civilian justice out here, man. And it says, a lot of women have said the same man has followed them in the past weeks. The suspect is said to have been released. Please be out, be, be safe out there, women. Full video to be down on our Twitter page. Damn, I need to go see the Twitter page. I'm gonna go look at that. But uh, yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, this is crazy, man. If you live in Atlanta, man, you know what Gresham Road is, man. It's it's getting a little gentrified, but that Walmart is still very hood, and you can tell it's a hood Walmart because they don't got no self checkout line. That Walmart, I hate that Walmart. I used to be in there all the time because it was like the closest Walmart to my house. But I hate that Walmart, man. I hate it. You go in there, you gotta wait in the line. You know Walmart only got like two lines or three lines open. Now you sitting up outside. Let's see what the comments are saying though. Huh, I see they was not playing with him. Ha. Huh. That's that's I like that word play. We don't go for that shit in East Atlanta. I mean, uh, I don't think we go for that in Atlanta, period, to be honest. He got his own sit ad whooping. He looked like Martin Lawrence when he fought Tommy Hitman Hearns, and he 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 looks exactly like that. Actually, that's the funny thing. Damn, they beat the fuck out of dude. Y'all better leave these kids. Fuck these kids. These fuck kids a lot. Fuck, I messed that up. Just leave the kids alone, basically, man. That's what happens when people don't play about their loved ones. Hopefully, he learns something from this shit. The community at work, giving that work. Let's stay consistent with this. I would like people to stay consistent with beating up weirdos, man. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Grady him, please. <laughs> If you don't know what Grady him means, that means uh, beat him up to the point where he has to go to Grady Hospital. So let's go ahead and, uh, and see if we can find the ATL Uncensored Twitter page, goddammit. Let's go. I want to see this beat down in action. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's girl beating his ass. Wow. <laughs> wow. She's, uh, she's mad for good reason, and she did what she needed to do. Her and her friend came and took him down and gave him that zone sit ad whooping that he deserved. I'm not mad at it. I, hey, he got he got beat up really bad, man. You can tell he's a sorry little beta male running around here chasing girls around and, and recording them, and then he couldn't even defend himself from a fight from two ladies. That's how you know he weak, man. You know he, he praying on the weak so he can come in there and get him some, some strong arm splash. 
Yeah, man, but that's the video right there, man. Uh, I guess you just got to watch out for these simps, man. Uh, everybody in the red pill space is acting like the one lady was was uh, was deserving it in, in a way and all that kind of stuff. And it's not even, uh, nobody deserves it, man. You just got to just, I don't know. She, she probably should have been a little bit more smarter as far as not giving that guy. I think he had keys to her place. And uh, all this kind of stuff, like you, why are you giving this guy keys to your place? Why are you being a, a sugar baby to this guy? And expecting him not to come collect for the sugar, man. So uh, essentially, yeah, man. The, yeah, man. The, I guess, the, I guess the uh, the lesson is, I guess, I guess uh, I do have to kind of side more so on the red pill guy side, man. You can't be out here being a sugar baby and not expecting somebody to come, try to come and collect, man. You can't be out here. Using folks for their money, using folks for their resources, whatever it may be, and, and not thinking that you're leading them on and expecting nothing to happen. Well, I mean, nothing should happen, but you got to be smarter than that. You got to be more considerate than that. And then, uh, as far as the whole uh, the zone sit ad whooping that this guy got, he was much deserving of that. I'm glad he got what he got, but I don't think he should be back on the streets. If you live over there on Gresham Road, ask him where he's going anytime you see him. Because it ain't but two parts of Gresham Road, goddammit. You go down the street, you go to the Walmart. The Walmart is the nicest thing on Gresham Road, actually. Used to be the gym over there, man, at London Sport Complex, but it ain't. It ain't no more. It ain't over there no more. But, uh, yeah, that's the video right there. I just thought it was something interesting to share on that last one. And I want to know what you guys think about the whole Mercedes Moore uh, murder and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. That's it, man. Y'all have a great day. Ladies, watch out for these guys and stop trying to use them for their gifts and expecting or thinking that they're not going to be out here on some weird trying to collect stuff. There are some weird guys out here, man. Weird guys. And I'll see y'all next time.